Hello and welcome to another Advanced Skeleton video. In this video, we're going to take a closer look at a rigging of a vehicle. More specifically, we're going to rig up a car. And for this, we have downloaded a model from TurboSquid. This is a free model of a monster truck. A pretty cool looking monster truck here. So let's go ahead and get started. We'll uh, open up the uh, monster truck file. And here is our cool looking monster truck. And we go ahead and open advanced skeleton. Uh, by default, advanced skeleton is a floating window. So if you prefer, like me, to have it docked on the side or as a uh, workspace, you can do that here in the about section. We're going to use the workspace option here. Now, as we proceed, I'd like to uh, remind you that the recommended workflow is to have the model as a separate file from the rig file. So the file we have opened up here is the model file. And then to create uh, the rig, we'll do hit the button that says new scene, creates a blank new scene and we'll reference in the model. And by default, that gets assigned a display layer. And the first thing we're going to do now, because we have a new scene, so it's just called Untitled, we'll just go ahead and hit Save to save this out as our rig file. All right, to start rigging this monster truck, we'll go into the body section and open the fit subsection. And what we could do here, we could grab the template, which is called vehicle import that and start placing these uh, fit skeleton joints, which is the main body and the wheels, etc. But for the sake of this demonstration, we'll go ahead and remove that fit skeleton and I'll show you that we can create the fit skeleton from scratch just by plotting joints and applying labels. So let's start with uh, plotting out some joints using the create joint tool. Hop over to the side view. Uh, the very first joint I'm going to have right at the center of the scene. I'll turn on the snap function, pop that right at zero, zero. Next, I'll create a joint which will be for rotating the body of the car. We'll have that joint right about there. And then we'll plot out the joints for these giant suspension springs. Now this joint will be the one that actually going to rotate this wheel. And then for the back wheel and suspension, I'll just duplicate the front wheel joint and position this to the wheel. Then as we can see on the car here, we got some extra bits that can presumably move. So we'll go ahead and add some extra joints to allow the doors to open and we'll also add a couple of joints on this uh, antenna sticking out and maybe uh, one for the engine here so we can move this engine separately from the, the body of the car. Okay, so next we'll go ahead and add some labels. The first one we're gonna add is for the wheels. If we look under the attribute drop-down menu here, there's something called a wheel label. Now, as for any of these labels, if you want more information about what it does, you can always hit that little uh, question mark button that pops open the what's called the help image. And if we scroll down, we'll find the uh, documentation for the wheel uh, and here it's uh, as I said it creates a rolling setup providing a accurate automatic rolling for wheels etc so select both the front and the back wheel and we'll hit add for the wheel so at this point we'll go ahead and run the first build for this rig and to do so We'll just make sure we have selected that top joint and hit Build Advanced Skeleton. 
So for a start, I want to see only the skeleton that is meant to be attached to. Now this is called the deformation skeleton here located under the group called deformation system. So what we want to do now is hide the controllers, which would be hiding the motion system and showing only deformation system. Now this is a very common thing to want to do. So there's actually a couple of uh, ways to do this. Obviously you could do it manually. You can go in here and select the motion system and hit hide selected. That will show only the deformation system. Um, there's also a function in here under display, which is hide and show motion system. Or the one I prefer to use is to assign this function to a hotkey, which is done here, display uh, controls, set hotkey, and confirm. This is now assigned to the tilde key, and I can now just hold down that button to, to do the temporary visibility or control clicking it to make it permanently invisible. So we're now looking at just the deformation system. We'll also make sure we can see the geometry and that it's selectable. And we'll just start, uh, go ahead and start attaching this geometry to the corresponding joints. So the wheel joint and the wheel parts. We'll just go ahead and hit skin, bind skin. Now when you use this function, uh, it's wise to check in the options that it's set to select the joints, not the hierarchy. If it's set to hierarchy, you're going to end up skinning this wheel would be bound to all the joints. Uh, which is not what we want it. We want to make sure that's select the joint. So bind the wheel. I'll go ahead and do this for all the wheels. We can quickly see that the wheels are now attached and they will be rolling as we move the car as well. Now the antenna here, we could go ahead and just attach the antenna to this joint, but I want to do a couple of things. I want to have more joints running down the length of the antenna so that we can uh, add some uh, bending to the antenna and maybe we'll add some dynamics to it as well. So we'll select that antenna joint and add what's called a in-between attribute. Again, opening the help image, we can see what that does. It build joints in between fit skeleton joints. Exactly what we want is going to build joints in between these joints and the FK controller rotation will be distributed between the joints. So we'll have many joints down uh, the length of the antenna, the amount we can set here, let's say 10 joints. And we are not going to have too much controllers. We're going to get one controller and the value from that controller will be distributed throughout the joints. All right, uh, we'll go ahead and hit rebuild advanced skeleton again. And I use my hotkey to hide the motion system. Select the antenna joints and the antenna geometry and hit bind skin. And we now have an easy to use antenna controller that gives us a nice distributed bend down throughout the antenna. I'll go ahead and hide these wheels cause they are already skinned. Now this just shows us the objects that we have yet to attach. Um, so that should be just attached to the body joint. And there we go, all the objects attached. I'll then go ahead and again show the geometry. And at this point, I'll go ahead and parent that geometry into the geometry group, which is a handy way for us to be left with a clean hierarchy of only one single top node. All right, time to test show our controls. So we can see that the wheels are actually accurately rolling the right amount as we're moving the vehicle around. And we got our engine controller here that lets us do some shaking of the engine here. We got our antenna and the doors can open. And the 
body of the car. The controller is kind of hidden inside here, which we can fix by scaling up that controller. And what we'll do with this controller, since it's the main body of the car, we'll just give it a bit more of a shape that looks like the car body. So you can freely edit the shapes of the control curves. And if you want to edit the colors as well, there's a handy way to do that is here in the control curves section. We can go here and hit set color. And then next, what we can do is apply some dynamics to the suspensions to the car. So to apply dynamics, we can, we'll just go ahead, select that uh, body controller and go to the dynamics menu hit add to selected and as we start moving the car around um, actually what we can do we can hit that button called uh, we'll give ourselves a good frame range say about 2000 frames and hit internet uh, and hit interactive playback and we now can move the car and see the amount of dynamics we're getting onto our suspensions here and by uh, selecting that body control, we can see the, the parameters for the dynamics. Uh, the values that we are exposed with here is the overall blend, how much dynamics applies, the base gold and the tip gold, uh, which for in this case, only the base is going to be a, a visible effective parameter, not the tip gold. Um, and conserve which is adding some conservation into the system, which tends to make it look more realistic. If we select the antenna here, we can also add dynamics to that antenna. And in this case, you can see that the tip goal parameter actually has an effect as well. Uh, and here we want to leave the base goal as one to keep the base of antenna firmly attached to the car. And then we can set how much we want that tip to sway around with the tip gold value. And again, having some conserve value in there uh, makes the dynamics more realistic. And there we go. That was how we can set up a car using Advanced Skeleton. I hope you have enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time.